Hey guys, wanna know how to flare up any one of your laser projects really quickly? I found this feature in Lightburn that would help you create an even pattern or border that is similar to the array feature but stays on a path of your choosing. So let me show you how I did it and you can add some more spice to your projects too. Let's fire it up. Okay, so while I'm used to making larger scale custom signs, sometimes I like to stock local stores with products that are accessible to anyone in the community. And one of those products that were in need were these welcome to the world signs that were for new mamas uh, to use as photo props for their babies. So it looks pretty plain right now. I have the trending art shape that's been going on for a little while. And I just want to make like a little cut out border around the edge, something that doesn't need to be engraved, but could still make it a little bit fancier. So I'm gonna take the line and I'm going to come over here to the offset shapes. Make sure that the path that you would like is selected and then go to offset shapes. Instead of outward, you're gonna go inward so you can keep the shape of the cut that you're going to make. I'm leaving this at the round corner style and the path is going to be about a quarter of an inch on the inside. From here, I have the path that I want my new shapes to follow. So I am going to click on this path and then down here, I'm going to click on set shape start point. You can see that there's an arrow at that path now that will tell me when I create my shape of what I would like to follow a pattern around, then this is where I'm going to put it. So let's create that shape and put it on that starting point. To keep it simple, I'm just going to use the rectangle feature or a little bit of a rectangle and over at shape properties, I'm going to give it a, just a tiny radius to smooth it out, maybe three hundredths. Perfect. And then I am going to come over here and select my shape. If you remember in Lightburn or if you've seen my other tutorials, you know that you can turn on the snap to path feature where the one node here in the center will snap to the one along the path. But if you don't have that feature or if you're just unsure, you can see that your mouse, mouse, I'm from the 90s, your cursor changes to be a target and that's where you are going to want to put your shape. If you have an arched path like mine, you'll also want to take a minute to adjust and make sure that the path is going ha relatively halfway through the shape itself so it stays even when you copy it along that path. Perfect. Okay, so I have my shape, I have the path from here, just like you would do when you use the Boolean or the weld tools over on the left side of the screen, you are going to want to select your shape first and your path second. Shape first that you would want to follow along the path and make sure that you select the frame feature, the zoom to frame selection, so you can see the whole picture while you're playing with the settings on here. Then you're gonna to go to arrange copy along path and by default it will add three more different copies of your shape. Now I don't want them turned this way. I want them going vertical along the path and horizontal and change as the path changes as well. So I'm going to click on rotate copies and now you can see that everything is flowing in the same direction. This is the part where you just play around to see exactly how many you want and adjust the spacing in between them if you would like to do that. I think I'm going to leave it right about there and then click OK and voila you have your new cut evenly spaced along the path that you would like it to. Now when you click on the path itself it is separate from the shapes which is amazing because you can either choose to delete it or once you remove it and see that you would like to make changes, that would be really easy to do if you left it there. So I'm actually just gonna make this a separate layer in itself in Lightburn. And I'm gonna come over here to the layers panel and turn it off so you can't see it. And in retrospect, I probably would make these rectangles going around the border just a little bit bigger, but I think it still keeps the sign itself nice and delicate and just gives it some more character as well without adding engraving time and just doing some extra cuts. I hope this helped. And if you think that this tutorial has been helpful for you, make sure that you follow along for more tip talks and head on over to YouTube and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm so grateful that I get to work with you guys every day.